we what's going on YouTube is Donnie Piote and this is the video I've been waiting to make for about two weeks now because I was sent a box from O knife and it, it's a lot like something where I, I just did where somebody sent me something that they've heard me say I don't like this style and said well we're gonna blow your mind then and they just didn't care what I had to say they know they were gonna make me like it so O knife decided you say you don't like certain styles, but you never said you don't like using it because you've never used it. So they wanted to challenge me on that. And I think I think it's pretty incredible when a knife company or knife companies can say, all right, you think you don't like something, but it's because you don't use it. So we're going to send you one to use and, and we're going to see what you really think. Because it's one thing to think something without trying it, but it's another thing uh, thing to think something after trying it. And this is where we're at. So here at O Knife uh, from the company O Buy, um, they decided to send me this. They sent it to me two weeks prior to its release on the internet. Today is the very first day anybody can ever actually look it up and see it. Um, and I have been playing with it for two weeks and I'm really excited about it because playing with it's all I really needed to do. Now I've never I've never disliked the function of this knife because I've never used one. Right? I've never used one, so I've never never had anything bad to say about the function. I always said it's just not a style that I care too much about. I always complained that it was too linear. Generally when people make this style of knife it's three straight lines. They changed it up a little bit so I do have to respect that. Um, and here is what it is. This is the O knife Heron Li, and I'll tell you what, um, it's not just beefy, but this thing is fast. So let's get into it, and of course it's it's O knife, so the packaging is always good. It's the little box inside the little box. It always has like uh, um, positive things on the inside, and normally you get like a little coin, but instead of a coin, they added a Velcro patch the heron li i think that's really cool and the patch or the coin always has the actual knife on it so you know what it was it also comes with the um the cleaning um rag and as always when you take the last piece out of the box one of my favorite things they always say thank you i think that this small touches are always big but let's get into Boom! That thing is crazy. Oh, and don't forget, I got the old life glasses, and these things are pretty awesome, actually. Uh, especially if you guys ride motorcycles or bicycles and you get that wind. These are nice. So here we go. It has an 8.38 inch blade. Uh, do no, no. I'm sorry. That's uh, overall 8.3 inch blade. Um, it is 3.67 inches in the blade. And it has a very generous four and just about four and three quarters in the um, in the grip, and you can see how big the grip is and how absolutely well textured it is. This thing is really really good. Um, as far as the way it's built, it's built to fit in the hand. I love the blue collars. I think those are sweet. The um, the the uh, the ball bearings are low friction bearings. And it really shows once you depress that liner lock, boom, it, it, there's no hesitation in that opening. This thing opens faster than just about anything I've ever used. Now, this is going to be a part one video just be, because I really want to show you this knife. So um, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about it then taking out in the same video because you might get bored and not really see what this thing can do and that's what we're going to test but i did want to show you where they changed the game and the shape so most of the time this is called a broken sword design right it's comes from back in the, the medieval days a sword that got broken off in battle and they still used it. It's what created the, the popular Viking sacks, right? It was a broken sword. Oh, well, we can still use it. It's broken here, but it still has a flat edge. And um, that's where this design comes from. So if any of you are into like sheep's foot designs and things like that, you're used to a straight blade. And they work perfectly. As a matter of fact, um, one of my top knives 
and something I EDC all the time um, has a flat blade. So I've never disliked the function of the of the edge because a flat edge is a flat edge no matter what, right? This knife is incredible. It's incredible. So I never had a problem with a knife with a flat edge. I just never liked when you had a straight line, a straight line, right? And this one is not. So it would be two straight lines and then a straight line and it's just three linear lines. I never liked that. These guys changed the game on this style of knife though. O knife did a really good job. First of all, they absolutely changed the grind over. Um, you have a nice, really, really super sharp hollow grind here. And then how do you make the tip stronger? You add a flat grind. I mean, that's really, really smart when it comes to wanting to improve strength. I, I do believe it is a 3.2 millimeter thickness it is. So you have 3.2 millimeters of thickness in the tip. You have a cat coming to say hello and she is going to ruin everything because that's what she does. Um, so uh, the, the grind is really, really nice. You do have a fuller that is, um, let me get rid of her. <laughs> It's an infinity for uh, fuller. It just goes off to the end and keeps going. But what makes this one kind of cool is how they add the fuller around this sweep right here. So you'll notice that while this is flat, this is not. This actually rises. So instead of parallel linear lines, what they do is they add a thumb ramp, a slanted thumb ramp, not a curled thumb ramp. They take the point where the spine here and they V it up to give you a thumb ramp before it curls down in an area where if you choked up to the choil, you can put your thumb in there for controlled cutting. That is so different than what everybody else was doing. And it was really freaking impressive. I mean, really impressive. So outside of that, then you have your slanted line and it totally takes away from being your plain old boring three linear line um, broken sword design. They changed the game. Not only that, but the grip. I don't know if any of you noticed, this is kind of like a 1911 grip. And the 1911 grip is made specifically because the 1911 is one of the most comfortable grips ever made. Um, so this style is perfect. The, um, the pocket clip is nice and strong. It's got a great snap. Um, it is no frills just on there. This is made for like a backpacking survival um, blade, just take it anywhere type EDC. The thing is pretty nasty looking. You can see how they designed the up sweep here to match the up sweep here. So when the, the blade is flat, you have two, two angles going up. Then you have this extra angle in the fuller where it meets and it's perfect. It's perfect. The eye inside here, everything, golly, that snap is just incredible. But I think that O-Knife did such a good job on that. I mean, for me, it's like, oh, here comes a broken sword design. Uh, probably, uh. And then I looked at it and I went, wow, they put complex grinds in there. Wow, they put extra angles. Wow, they have a raised um, thumb rip. So all the things that I would normally say, eh, but it's an ugly design, they kind of change. They tweak to make it not so ugly, right? They said, how can we take something that's very plain and very ugly and turn it into art? And that's what they did. They found a way. I'm impressed with it. I'm, I'm impressed with the look. Um, and I have to say that I'm impressed with the weight. So the, the function is one thing. That right there is probably my favorite. I mean, when, when you're talking about a snap, Ah, so, I mean, that is a hardcore snap into action. Um, but it, it's just the way it feels in your hand. The weight is really incredible. It feels super light in the hand. So if you're wearing it on your gear, your backpack, or, or, or even just in your pocket, this thing is so light. I don't know what the exact weight is, and I'm pretty sure it's on here. Uh, but I would have to look it up. Um, it, it's... Uh, 
it's just really nice. You'd, you'd be impressed. So the next video, we're going to take this thing out and we're going to give it some hard use and we're going to do all the cutting we need to do with it. And one thing I know about like my box butcher with this style blade is it is just absolutely made to cut. I mean, just, it's a slicer. And here you have the, the wonderful uh, hollow grind, which means all of your like feathering and things like that are going to come from this cut. All your complex cuts are going to come from right here. All your detailed cuts are right there. Anything where you have to slash quick is going to come from the tip where the flat grind is, and it's solid. Now, because this is going to be the meat of your use where the, where the hollow is, this is going to be where your sharpness comes in, and that's where the hollow really, really benefits you in the, in the knife category. Hollows are easier to sharpen than flats, and the reason is because the hollow, as you sharpen up, it's still nice and thin as you sharpen away, sharpen away, sharpen away, where with a flat grind, it's obviously getting thicker and thicker as it goes up, making it a little bit harder to sharpen. So to have your main sharpening area, a hollow grind, and then your main hitting area, a flat grind, you're just adding length in, um, in, in the time that you're going to hold an edge and length in the strength. So um, it's really, really well done. I'm super impressed. Now, they did offer ah, ooh, they did offer a 10% um, store-wide discount for anyone who uses my channel. I'm going to put affiliate links down below. Um, DBAD 10, 10% off of anything on Obi. If you go to obi.com and I'm putting all these, all, all the affiliate stuff down there, Obi has freaking everything survival, everything camp, um, everything sunglasses. Um, but uh, they just have an amazing website with literally tons of stuff. I mean, you can go on Obi right now and you can spend a hundred bucks and go out in the woods and live and live they have some really really cool stuff so follow that um they are having a sale like a crazy sale do, 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 do. and i don't think i left it up there um but uh, they have a sale that starts uh tonight i think at 8 p.m tonight and it goes to the 22nd so you have a chance to go on there and they're having a store-wide sale and all like new arrivals, everything. So get over to Obuy, it's O-B-U-Y.com and check out their stuff. Utilize the sale. Look at my links down below. Utilize the numbers. I don't get anything from um, the link. So you guys get 10%. I don't get any kickback. So this isn't like, hey, if you use my link, you're helping out. No, you're not helping me out at all. You're helping them out because... They're earning your business just by making good products. That's what they're doing. So get over there, check it out. The link for this knife is down below. Check it out. Um, and we are going to get more into this when it comes to doing the video of hard use. The reason we're not doing it today is because yesterday and today and possibly tomorrow is rain. So we have to wait a little bit to get out and do the hitting. But I really, really wanted you guys to see this. Um, this is fantastic. Oh, uh... <laughs> I totally skipped out on um, some of the importances. The steel is D2. <laughs> totally forgot to tell you. It is D2 tool steel. Strong, ready to hold an edge. Just awesome stuff. The black coating is going to keep you from rusting. I mean, it's just typical, typical awesomeness. Um, I have to say that this, this is something that I could actually get into. This is something I can actually carry... I really, really am enjoying this thumb ramp. This th this whole angle right here is good, and I'm enjoying that. That's pretty nice. Um, I just saw a blue jay fly right into my window behind me. That was pretty great. But boom, gosh. I have to say, as far as um, brand new knives opening, snapping open, um, brand new out of the box without having to wear it in, this probably has one of the best openings I've ever felt. Um this thing is a serious, serious, I'll try it soft, soft, barely touching it, and it snaps. That's crazy. That is crazy to me because I have other knives that I can, I really have to flick and sometimes they don't come out that hard. Um, not this one. That's pretty dope. All right. So 
We're going to get into um, all the cutting and using video next. Stay tuned for it because it's going to be awesome in that video. I'll also put the links down in case you missed it here. And if you did miss it here, what's the point of me telling you? Because you'll find it there and you would have never known it was in there. So that's it. This is part one. Follow the links. Check this stuff out. Check out their web pages. These guys are awesome. You can go to O-Knife or O-Buy um, or O-Life. You can check out all their O stuff. Um, but... Holy crap, this is awesome. All right, so that's it for this one. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All day. Till next video.